Alright, so Banjo-Tooie is a game that is no stranger to suggestive themes, from questionable rock formations to even more questionable food menus. Over the years, Banjo-Tooie has built up quite the reputation as a kid's game that is not afraid to cross the line into the realm of the adult world. And nothing shows us more than Jolly Roger, the mayor of Jolly Roger's Lagoon and the proud owner of Banjo-Tooie's one and only gay bar. Yes, Banjo-Tooie has a gay bar. Or at least, that's what fans seem to think. In this video, I want to explore why some fans think this and see if this theory is as crazy as it sounds, or if there's some truth behind it. So come with me now to Jolly Roger's Tavern as I take a journey into the adult world of Banjo-Tooie. So the first thing I want to tackle is why exactly the fan base is so convinced that Jolly Roger's Tavern is a gay bar. You would think with a claim this bold that the fan base would have some specific examples to back the claim up, right? Well, it turns out they do, and some of it's pretty convincing. Let's look at some of these examples. Starting first with the notorious menu items. If you clicked on this video, then you are likely already aware of Jolly Roger's Tavern's menu. A menu that contains such items as salty dumplings, toad in the hole, and semen surprise. To say they are suggestive is an understatement, and you can see why the fans look at this menu with a raised eyebrow, with some fans theorizing that it's less of a menu of food items and more of a list of services, if you know what I mean. The next example is how Jolly Roger himself is portrayed. From how he moves, to the sound of his voice, to the things he says. He basically checks off every box that a stereotypical flamboyant gay man would have. At least, that's what fans argue. Some more specific examples the fans use to prove this point is the way Jolly Roger dances on the bar after you fix his jukebox. The way he flaps his wrists when he talks. And of course, the way his voice sounds. Which, I'll let you judge for yourself. Next up is the ginger beer that Jolly Roger serves at his bar. Now, most people in North America would associate the word ginger with people who have red hair and fair skin. But in the UK, where Banjo-Tooie was developed, ginger is often associated with the word queer. Hmm. So the fans are basically arguing that Jolly Roger is selling queer beer to his patrons. Another example is Mary Maggie Malpass, presumed to be a toad, and Jolly Roger's self-proclaimed partner. Now, in the game, Mary is portrayed as a woman, but it is heavily theorized that she is a transgender female, or even a drag queen. And if you look at Mary, you can see why. For a woman, she is quite large, being almost twice the size of Jolly Roger. And, unlike Jolly Roger's feminine voice, Mary sports a very deep, low voice that sounds rather manly. She also has a completely flat chest. And finally, we have some dialogue from Jolly Roger and Mary that is a bit suspect. Most of what the two say is pretty PG, but they do have a few lines in particular that have caused suspicion. Jolly Roger saying things like, Okay, big boy, show me the money. Seem to cement him in that stereotypical gay archetype mentioned earlier. Mary mentions grab a sailor knight and a special on Siemens brew, which really seemed to stick out. Mary also has the line when you save her from the giant fish that mentions how It will almost be happy hour soon at the bar and Jolly Roger will be needing some relief. Interpret that how you will, but to me, it's very strange dialogue that certainly seems to border on the line of the adult. But what if it's just that? What if it's just strange dialogue? What if there's nothing more to Jolly Roger's tavern than strange dialogue, strange food items, and a frog who's a little quirky? What if the fans have been seeing things that aren't really there? Well, let's now re-examine all the points brought up in this video and see if we can find a more reasonable answer. Let's look at the food menu items again. While Toad in the Hole may seem like a sex move you'd see in Urban Dictionary, it's actually a pretty common English dish that consists of sausage cooked in Yorkshire pudding. And while I couldn't find a dish that's exactly named Salty Dumplings, Dumplings themselves are very common, and they were probably given the salty moniker because Jolly Roger's Tavern is by the ocean. As for semen surprise, I'm going to go ahead and give the fans a point on that one, because I don't know what the hell that could be, though I have my suspicions. And as for the ginger beer being queer beer, I think the fans are way off on that one. Anytime alcohol is referenced in video games, it must be listed under the ESRB rating. And with Banjo-Tooie being a game for everyone, including kids, Keeping that E rating was probably a priority for Rare. So they probably decided to go with ginger beer, which is often non-alcoholic, rather than regular beer. You can also see the same thing when you talk to Captain Black Eye. Seeing a pirate in a bar, you would automatically assume he'd be pounding back alcohol. 
and he's actually drinking a seltzer water to calm his stomach. So, I think it's safe to assume that ginger beer had more to do with the rating than its association with the word queer. Next, let's look at Jolly Roger. There's no denying that in comparison to the rest of the characters in Bandit Tui, Jolly Roger's a tad bit strange. And he has some stereotypical gay tendencies, but that's the thing. They're just stereotypes that don't really mean anything. Just because Jolly flaps his wrists when he talks doesn't mean he's into other guy frogs. It also doesn't mean he's not into other guy frogs. It's just a quirky thing he does. The only way we could get an idea of Jolly Roger's sexual orientation is by finding out the gender of his partner Mary. But the thing is, we don't even know if they are romantically involved. Jolly Roger mentions that Mary is his partner once, but partner could just mean business partner. It's never made clear. And even if they were romantically involved, nothing in the game ever points to Mary being a man, besides some suspicious physical characteristics. Every line of dialogue that mentions her gender mentions her being a woman. So even if they were a couple, Mary has been confirmed a woman, which would make Jolly Roger, proprietor of Jolly Roger's Tavern and mayor of Jolly Roger's Lagoon, not gay, though I suppose he could be bi. So even though I don't think Jolly Roger runs a gay bar in Jolly Roger's Lagoon, as amazing as that would be, I love the fact that the theory exists. It's so funny that people care enough about this game to speculate the sexual orientation of a frog and whether the bar he runs, a bar you see once or twice during the whole adventure, is a gay bar or not. Stuff like this keeps games alive, even if they were released over 20 years ago. And if I can help preserve the amazing game that is Banjo-Tooie by making questionable videos like this on YouTube, then that uh -huh. makes me happy. If you liked this video, then check out our other video on Canary Mary, 